We've seen some really scary scenes at baseball games lately. Fans hit and injured by foul balls, sometimes going up to 90 miles an hour. Now this accident happened Sunday in Texas and somebody was hurt there. This has the attention of local teams. Our Joe Bruno is live with what they're doing in Kannapolis to try to protect the baseball fans there. The Scott Cruz are in the middle of building this new ballpark in downtown Kannapolis for the team currently known as the Intimidators. When opening day comes around next year, there will be protective netting for fans. Chopper 9 flew over the ballpark today. The ownership, ownership group Temerity Baseball announced this ballpark will be equipped with protective netting extending the entire length of the seating grandstand. That's about 60 feet from the ends of the dugouts. The netting is coming from a local company in Salisbury and is described as essentially invisible. It will be green to blend in with the grass. It's much easier for the team to install the netting now as the stadium is being built. They want fans to be able to enjoy their time at the game without having to worry about needing to pay attention nonstop. That's part of the fun of a baseball game is it's not just about the action on the field. It's everything else that's going on around you. So if you're not paying attention every single pitch, we understand. We just want you to have a great experience. This team is an affiliate of the Chicago White Sox. The White Sox just extended their netting to the foul poles. Back to you. All right, Joe, I know that that's going to make a lot of fans feel a lot safer out there. But we have seen the same thing happen in Charlotte. A woman was hit in the face by a foul ball back in May at the Knights Stadium. And this picture uh, says it all. She got a concussion and lost a front tooth. After that, the Knights told us they are planning to reevaluate their netting after this season. Right now, they only extend their nets to the end of the dugout.